Good morning to all here in Brazil. Good afternoon in Paris and elsewhere. Uh, it is a pleasure to uh, welcome you all here uh, on the Brazilian side. Ministers uh, Braga Neto, Marcos Pontes, Fabio Faria, and the um, uh, Director General, uh, President of the uh, Telecommunications Agency, uh, Leonardo Euler. Um, and uh, the OECD side, of course, Secretary General Angel Gurria uh, and uh, other colleagues from the, uh, the OECD, Hello. Ambassador Cosende. I, uh, I have the pleasure to open this uh, launch ceremony of uh, two peer reviews uh, carried out by the OECD's uh, Committee on Digital Economy Policy, CDEP, called uh, Going Digital in Brazil, within the framework of the uh, OECD Going Digital Program and telecommunications and broadcasting in Brazil, the other peer review. As we all know, the reviews provide an opportunity for technical evaluation of public policies, with diagnosis and recommendations aimed at exchanging experiences and bringing policies closer to the standards and principles adopted by the organization. They shall provide a meaningful inputs to the improvement of public policies in Brazil. Cooperation with the OCD is crucial in building a framework Favorable, to for, favorable for the reforms which are necessary to increase the Brazilian economy's competitiveness and integration with global value chains. The review Going Digital in Brazil analyzes the current setting of several features that play a role in the ongoing digitalization of uh, Brazilian society, pointing out the opportunities and challenges we need to overcome. The Telecommunications and Broadcasting Review concerning telecommunication services, analyzes the institutional environment and the performance of these two branches, as well as their policies and regulations, with historical developments as an important backdrop of the current situation. In line with the aspirations of the Brazilian society for development, prosperity, good governance, and sound public policies, Brazil has intensified its relationship with the OECD, converging its policies and practices with the, with the organization's standards and guidelines, and fostering the incorporation of the OECD's legal framework, as well as working on reviews and studies devised in partnership with the organization. Brazil is currently the non-member country most engaged with the organization. We have already joined 96 out of the uh, 248 OECD's legal instruments. We are currently working together on 15 reviews involving several different areas of public policies. We hope, under those circumstances, that the members shall overcome their different views on the organization's enlargement so that Brazil may start its accession process in the short term. Brazil now, now enjoys the support of all members to start the, the procedures, but they still have to find convergence concerning the other current candidates. We are convinced that full membership will be relevant to the dynamics of reforms by intensifying Brazil's integration in the international in the international economy, as well as the adoption of higher regulatory standards to the benefit of our economic ties with the member countries. The two studies launched today bear a witness to how this cooperation can be fruitful. The reviews provide a qualified diagnosis of the main challenges for the development of two strategic areas, digital economy and telecommunications. They will certainly help us reflect on our current policies and improve them based on the recommendations presented. The conclusions of the telecommunications review, in this sense, could not have turned up in a better time. In the context of swift changes and the rising relevance of digital data in the economy, a fast, efficient, and solid communications infrastructure is imperative for social and economic development. And not only that, it is imperative and essential for democracy, for the maintenance of civil liberties, and for good governance. This is a pivotal issue for Brazil's government. As President Jair Bolsonaro has claimed at the uh, United Nations General Assembly, Brazil is open to the development of cutting edge technology and innovation, such as Industry 4.0, artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, and 5G net technology, with any partners who respect our sovereignty and cherish freedom and data protection. The report's conclusions are in line with the new openness Brazil professes to new technologies. It also provides meaningful inputs for our policies to move further in this direction. Going digital in Brazil makes a broad and precise assessment 
uh, about how the country can foster its digital transformation. The study goes to the heart of several issues which Brazil is now devoted to solve, such as red tape, greater integration in global value chains, and more result-oriented policies on innovation, infrastructure, security, and data protection, among others. The implementation of the, the, the review's recommendations will allow Brazil to converge further with the good practices advocated in this area by the OECD. We hope, as a member country in the future, to continue to follow discussions on these issues within the organization and to contribute to those discussions. We are convinced that the OECD shall also have much to gain from Brazil's full membership, which would allow for the reinforcement and broadening of the OECD the range of standards and practices and for the strengthening of its presence uh, in uh, other regions, especially in our region. Also, for the uh, maintenance of the uh, fundamental values of the OECD around freedom and democracy. Muito obrigado, doutor Leonardo Eulio de Moraes. Eu queria agradecer a todos pelas intervenções nesta sessão inicial e dizer que ficou ainda mais claro, me parece, o compromisso do Brasil com a adesão aos parâmetros da OCDE. Ficou claro o nosso empenho em valer-nos da OCDE para orientar nossas políticas, mas também a nossa capacidade de contribuir para os propósitos centrais da organização. O Brasil certamente tem muito a aproveitar com a aproximação e ao tornar-se membro, eventualmente, da OCDE. Mas acreditamos que a OCDE e os seus atuais membros também têm muito a ganhar ao verem um país das dimensões do Brasil, com a capacidade do Brasil e com o nosso impulso liberalizador e espírito inovador ingressar na organização. A evolução digital e as telecomunicações constituem hoje, talvez, a linha de frente que decidirá o futuro das sociedades, se serão sociedades livres ou se rumarão para outras opções. A transformação digital e as telecomunicações são extraordinariamente democratizantes, com um potencial enorme de inclusão social e inclusão econômica, mas também de inclusão política, de inclusão dos cidadãos, na eh, condução dos negócios de seus países. Por outro lado, tem também um potencial perigoso, o potencial de favorecer o controle social e a manipulação. O Brasil está inteiramente comprometido, não só com a economia liberal, mas com a sociedade livre. E queremos promover esses ideais na OCDE. Temos agora um intervalo de cinco minutos, se não houver outras observações aqui, antes de eh, procedermos com o painel de discussões e a questão de perguntas e respostas, que tenho certeza serão extremamente produtivos. Muito obrigado a todos.